Thank you, Madam Mayor and Council, this item was up for discussion last month and uh, we have since received additional information from uh, Norfolk Southern with respect to their request. Just to give a little bit more historical information uh, for your benefit, um, Norfolk Southern has um, <coughs> uh, been requesting the City of Hayhire to close the Lawson Street crossing for several years. Uh, it, uh, it's an issue that comes up uh, periodically um, and uh, at least uh, the most recent time that the matter uh, was considered, um, uh, it was uh, voted to, to be closed as part of an agreement for the transfer of the railroad property. Uh, of course, the railroad property was discovered to be exclusively owned by the railroad after that vote was taken through a title search. So the closure of the crossing was not necessary. And of course, uh, the council at that time did not wish to, uh, to close it if that was not contingent upon receiving that property. Of course, since that time, the railroad property was purchased uh, as uh, a straight up property transaction using special purpose local option sales tax funds. And the crossing issue went by the wayside. Uh, the railroad uh, let the issue lie for several years and contacted us again last year at which time we asked uh, that they notify us again towards the end of the year. They did that in December and stated basically that uh, state law provides for uh, the closure of the crossing uh, if they seek to appeal for that issue. Of course, uh, our city attorney could probably explain it a little bit more eloquently than I could, but essentially, uh, according to state law, there is a, a set number of criteria that the railroad would appeal to if the city would deny its petition to close the crossing. And uh, if the Department of Transportation saw that each of those items were, um, were, in, were in the railroad's favor and the petition's favor, then they would grant that petition and uh, they would close the crossing against the city's wishes. Um, basically, the railroad has made that petition. They have made that request. There's a resolution before the council to close the crossing. There is additional incentive that the railroad has provided should the council wish to willingly close the crossing. Uh, the railroad has uh, offered uh, $40,000, and that includes a $7,500 grant from the uh, Department of Transportation. They have stated that if the uh, city uh, does not want the crossing closed uh, and uh, votes to not have the crossing closed, that uh, they would continue with their petition and that uh, incentive uh, funding would be taken off the table. Uh, if uh, the council does vote to have it closed, the incentive funding would come to the city and could potentially be used to uh, improve and dress up uh, the uh, Hayhiro Square area with uh, additional downtown parking uh, and uh, additional um, amenities uh, in that particular area. However, uh, I know that there are uh, definitely uh, passionate feelings on both sides of this matter and we wanted to let you know that the railroad had brought this before you again. Um, they uh, stated to the mayor and myself, of course, American Ad uh, as well, um, that uh, they respected the city's decision either way, but that they were going to move forward with a petition and that they felt fairly confident uh, that they could get the, the crossing closed whether or not the city voted for it. Uh, to that end, we also touched base uh, through due diligence with our Department of Transportation board member, uh, Tim Golden, uh, who stated, of course, that he was not as familiar with the process, but of course would look into it should the city wish him to and uh, be able to uh, meet with us and, and talk with us a little bit more about it. Um, there is a procedure, of course, as I stated, that the railroad would have to enter into uh, should they wish to petition to close the crossing against the city's wishes. So that is essentially all of the information. Uh, I'll entertain uh, questions that you may have at this point. Good <coughs> petition that the uh, railroad has submitted, how long will it take to process? Uh, you have an estimate? I do not. Uh, I can pass that. I can. I can ask that question. Uh, see how long it would take. Uh, basically, I think what the railroad is waiting on is a vote from the council uh, as to whether or not to to uh, grant their petition. Um, 
I would assume that it would take several months. Uh, there would be an analysis that would have to be conducted uh, if it was done in the railroad's favor. Uh, there would be an analysis that would have to be conducted, a study. Uh, they did submit crash data to us. Uh, I, I passed this along to uh, Chief Davis as well. Um, there is an accident report from 2008. Yeah, 2008 with respect to that. So there is some recent crash data uh, with respect to it. Um, but um, uh, with respect to exactly how long it would take, I don't have a, a firm understanding. Did they give us some kind of timetable that they're looking for? They stated that they would pursue the petition immediately uh, right. if, uh, uh, if the city wished uh, the crossing closed or did not wish the crossing closed. Um, you know, if, if uh, the city wishes to pursue additional information, I mean, we can certainly take that back to them and say, you know, that the matter has been postponed uh, for uh, additional, uh, additional insight uh, and input. Um, all we can do is tell them that, you know, as far as what their, what their wishes are, what they want to do. Um, they seem pretty firm. In, uh, in what they've stated. And, and did they not offer um, um, uh, additional incentives uh, that had to do with right-of-ways that uh, could be possibly utilized to establish parking along that right-of-way? Uh, we, we did pursue that, uh, uh, that question with them. And basically uh, what they stated is that that was not completely connected with great crossing safety, which is the group that's pursuing the closure of the crossing, but that it was real estate, which we're very familiar with real estate, having just purchased uh, that five acres from them. So we did follow up with uh, the real estate department, and they stated that, yes, uh, should the city wish to pursue an agreement for parking within the right-of-way of the rail line, uh, from uh, what we basically stated was Lawson Street down to uh, Park Street, um, that they would be interested in um, contracting with the city with respect to that for a minimal annual fee uh, that, that basically would be uh, a rental fee. There is some designs with respect to downtown parking that we have had drawn up, uh, and uh, we've got to, to present uh, basically just a discussion items, nothing to vote on at our retreat uh, on Friday. So, uh, so that is. Uh, they, they hasten to point out, though, the matters are not necessarily connected, uh, but uh, it is a matter of goodwill, I suppose, uh, with, with the local railroad. Uh, they are seeking to have this matter done, and, and we're seeking, of course, to get additional downtown parking. But, um, but there are a good amount of spaces that, uh, that we've pursued for, uh, for construction within the railroad walkway. And uh, if, uh, if that's successful, and there's every indication to believe it will be, um, that would be uh, a matter that has been um, stated as a priority at our downtown development authority and among our downtown business owners for some time. And so that would, that would um, potentially give us the opportunity to create parking both sides, both east and west, right. from Park to Lawson. Correct. And this would be parallel parking? The, the restriction that we've got is 25 feet from the center line of the tracks. So uh, because of that, uh, it, it uh, was initially conceived of as parallel parking within certain spaces. There would be the availability of angled parking simply because there's more space in behind the depot. But uh, parallel parking uh, within the other areas specifically on North Webb, uh, South Webb, and uh, South Railroad Street is uh, what's initially been conceived. Okay. Uh, but if we don't, um, if, we, if we disagree and it goes to a petition, the cash over is gone, right? Yeah, that's, that's correct. Okay. And answering your question with the parking spaces, around the deep bay you'll have 56 parking spots. Right. 15, 56 new spaces. North Wales Street you'll have 15 new spaces from uh, Lawson Street to 122. South Wales Street you'll have 9 spaces from 122 
to Park, South Railroad Street, you'll have 16 spaces from 122 to Park. Department 